Well, guys, welcome back. We are here for another episode on the Puckscotch server. We are out in the wilderness a little bit. It's uh, We're a bit of a ways away from town. And uh, we're going to do something a little bit differently today. We are, uh, like, yeah, look at that. We're out in the middle, almost nowhere. We are actually going to be working on a little bit of a new project today. And I've done a little bit of work already. It's uh, This is going to be some work for something that we're going to be doing in the future. So I can't reveal its position just yet. But I wanted to show you guys it because it's looking really cool. And I spent a little bit of time on it. So we're going to walk around this corner right here. And you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about. Here we go. Look at that. It is absolutely massive. What I was kind of going for here is uh, this is going to be sort of like a sacrificial tomb or, or something like that. And I wanted it to have a l little bit of a cool entrance. Is it about to go nighttime? It probably is, isn't it? The sun is that away. Uh, that's okay. But yeah, I wanted this to have like a grand entrance that you were like, wow, this looks really cool. And I wanted it into sort of a cliff. And I kind of found around this little corner here, we came up and around, and there was just this face of stone right here. So I decided this was going to be the place that we actually put in our sacrificial tomb. And it looks really, really cool. I haven't completely like detailed it or anything like that. We're going to be doing a little bit of that today. But wow. <laughs> It is absolutely massive. When I built this out, I didn't think it was going to be that big. I thought it was going to go maybe like halfway up this little mountainside. But it ended up going pretty much right to the top. And I really like the look of it because it's so grand. Uh, right now, I mean, you can see. Oops. Let's see. Let's go back to this view. Uh, you can see. Now we got these holes in the side here and all we're going to be doing is just filling it in with, with these. Uh, they're going to be alternating yo, just like that, like a so. And then these ones are going to be opposite on this side. Just to uh, give it some color variance, you know, just to keep it a little different. And that's going to go up and give it just a little bit of something different. Because right now it's all stone. And it looks okay. We've got a little bit of the, the cracked stone, like right there and right there. But it doesn't, like, really pop. Nothing pops out at you, so I needed some color in there, and this was a way to work it in. So you can see it sort of, uh, what's the right word, like, swerves its way in all the way to the top, alternating. Uh, we're also going to have a little bit of color up and over there as well. Um... But yeah, that's sort of the entrance where it is at this very moment. we got to work out a little bit of lighting, too. We're also going to dress this up. I want it to be more of a ruiny type area, so we're going to mix in some like mossy stones, uh, stone brick, and we're going to have some vines and some maybe just a little bit of trees. I don't want to obscure the view of how big this is, uh, because like when you come around this corner, if there is a tree right in front of this thing and you come around, you're not going to notice this. You're going to be looking at the tree and being like, well, what's that behind it? And you're not going to get a good view. So we can't have any trees right right like right here would be a bad spot to have a tree but we might put something over here uh, maybe a, a taller tree with some vines so that when you do get around it you are greeted with a view like this and that looks really nice we'll do some stuff with the path work but that's not for right now let's uh let's actually go inside and i'll show you guys what we've done because uh, there's still a little bit to show i'm pretty happy with this uh, we've got a little staircase down uh, to a, a hallway down there I put in, um, initially this was just three wide right here and I went all the way back to that back wall there and we've got the roof up on top sort of arched. This way it was just thin and it didn't quite feel right for me. So what I did, I knocked it out two on either side of this entrance to make her seven wide and I put in some pillars. Uh, also with those pillars we put in these little archways right here. I think they add a lot of nice little detail. Um, without doing too much because I, I don't want to spend too much time on this project we got a lot of work to do still over at the villa that's a project that I, I really want to finish and, and get a lot more done on it so I don't want to go too crazy with this but it needed something just having the plain walls 
it uh, it didn't really look so great. So I ended up uh, was that right? Well, I got to do something with these pillars. Uh, that ain't right. We'll have to fix that. I got to do a little bit more with this entrance as well. It's not quite done. Now, heading down the stairs, here's where things get interesting. We got this crazy, crazy staircase. We've got on the sides here, again, some arches. I sort of made them fit into the, the downward staircase. They look pretty nice. And again, we got the pillars uh, holding up the place. You can see they go all the way to the ceiling uh, with this little bit of flooring right here so that the pillars weren't just insanely large. Going from the absolute top all the way down to the actual bottom that would have been just a lot of plain stone going up and down so I needed to break it up and I decided to break it up at this ground level so that uh, we didn't have that big long pillar so we get some the bottom portion of this pillar here connects to the top portion of that pillar right there and I think it looks pretty cool um, we need to do a little bit of work right here this ain't looking so great uh, this little lower section I need to do something with that at the very least get rid of that red what is this uh, granite, maybe. I need to get rid of that. Um, heading on down, now we've got this little hallway right here. And it looks pretty nice. It follows the same theme as upstairs. We got the pillars with their rounded edges. We got these little wall indents. Not exactly sure what I want to do with those. Well, that's that's a lie. I, I know exactly what I want to do with these, but I can't put it in there yet. Same with the one way at the top here. I know what I want to do with that one at the very end. I just can't put it in yet because it will give away what the main purpose of this place will be. Because we ain't going to be doing that yet. We, we don't have enough time to pull it all off. And uh, so we have to do a little bit of waiting. Now... As you can see, I haven't finished the floor here, and that's okay. Uh, that'll come in due time. But heading on down to the end of this hallway, we actually we need to go down a little bit further. Because if we actually have a look, let's switch back to this guy right here, and let's pillar straight up. Um, I thought I was low enough, but what ended up happening... Oh, yeah, let's go right up. What ended up happening was... Uh, you, look at this. We got a planes right here. So we can't just go straight out. We have to go down even further. And I think that's going to help because it'll make it seem like it's just way beneath the earth. When we start, we're up over there on the upper portion of the hill, about halfway up this giant hill. So we have to go down a, a long way. So what I ended up doing, I actually built out this hill. So it didn't actually used to look like this. Oh, yeah, here we go. Spider, you're dead. Here comes a zombie. So I actually had to build out this hill and try and make it look natural so that it didn't look like there was a, a, a player-created land here. Now, mind you, going on to like the rest of this land, this is all really steep, and this is a little bit flatter around her edge. But I think it still works. It doesn't look completely man-made. Like, if you're running across this in the world, like if we were to say head down here and we're coming around the corner, you're not going to be like, oh, someone threw up some do or dirt blocks just to cover up something there. You ain't going to know that. You're just going to walk by. You're going to have no clue. And, oh, I, I don't just want people to just stumble upon this out in the middle of some giant massive field. Like, if I put in a giant tomb right there, people are going to stumble upon it. I don't want it to be like that. I want this to be sort of like a, a little area in which the people who are here, they know about it, and that's about it. Unless you know about maybe the, the myths of the land or whatever it may be. Was that the right spot? Yeah. Let's cover that back up. That's probably not the right spot. Maybe one day we'll fix that. I'm not sure. We will see. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of where we're at for this thing right now. We need to go down further. And I've got a plan to do that. Um, I don't want to extend another one of these long hallways here. I think having a, a second one wouldn't really serve much of a purpose. So what what the plan is from here, we are going to be doing some... Uh, well, may, uh, we're not going to do it just yet. I'll just tell you what the plan is. We are actually going to do... Um, from right here, we're going to have some stairs going down. 
and I wanted this to be a giant open room, like huge, like a big space. And right in the middle, closer towards maybe the closer towards the end, maybe 66, 75 percent of the way, I want there to be a sacrificial altar that this will go to. And this will sort of be an area in which the sacrifices happen uh, in the area. Um, so I need to do a lot of digging and we have a plan for it, but we're not quite ready for it. So what we are going to do, I'm going to go back to work. We're going to put in this wool up top here because I need to see what this will look like. Um, it's going to add just so much more character to this front facade without doing too, too much work. And uh, maybe where it ends up being leaved after we put in the mossy stone, I'm not sure. So what we're going to do, we're going to take a quick break, and uh, when we come back, we are going to have some fun. It's, uh, I have to do a little bit of prep for it. We have to do a run out to, which block is this, blue, dark blue. We have to do a quick run out to uh, collect some sand out near the mesa, and that is a 20-minute trip just running. So it's going to be a little bit of time. So... We're going to take a break, and when we come back, we're going to have some fun. Okay, guys, we are back, and look what we have to play with. We got TNT. I have no idea what this is going to do. I don't play with TNT very often, so this is going to be interesting. Um... <laughs> That's nine. I don't know what this is going to do. I hope it don't blow up that. I hope it don't blow up this. Oh, should we do the middle one? Why not? Oh, this could be a bad idea. Oh! Ooh. <laughs> okay. Almost died. Almost died. What did we go down to? Like three hearts? Wow. I didn't think it would blow a hole that big. That's crazy. <laughs> okay, we're going to have to do some repair work here, it looks like. Um, wow, well that did kind of exactly what I wanted, which is great, because I thought I would have to do a lot more work to get this to be uh, functioning the way I needed it to. Right on. Okay, so we need to do another one of those that away maybe let's do it okay <clears throat> let's head up here I guess let's have a quick peek right here let's make another room of nine right here why not I hope this ain't too close to the ceiling because like last time we only blew out like one block and that really ain't bad like I can, I can definitely live with that. Cause like that's not gonna be much repair time. Okay, and let's do this one first. Run, run, run! Oh! Did you guys see that one shoot right out at us? Holy smokes! Okay, yeah, okay, that did not blow a hole in the roof, which is good. Okay. So now, let's do a little bit of work over here. Um, let's blow this out a little bit. Okay. Yeah, this seems like the right spot. Um, let's put one right there. Now, from what I understand about TNT, if you give it air blocks around it, it does a lot better work uh, when you're actually doing an explosion. Now, how far away can we make these? Let's try right here and see how that works. Now, let's just see what that does as an experiment. So that's one, two, three, four. That's the fifth block away. I wonder what that's going to do. That looks like it did nothing. And it did. Okay, so let's do a, a double up. Okay. And boom. I feel like I should be safe here. Oh! Oh! Kinda. A little bit. Okay. Place one right here. 
double, right? Double up. Oh, too close. I need to eat. Hmm, these little ones don't quite clear out nearly as much. Oops. Okay, so let's try doing a Two, three, four, five, six. Let's do six and see what that does. Oops! Run, run, run. Oh, yes! Okay, that did a good clearing. That did a really good clearing. Wow! Oh, we found a cave. Which is great because I think I need some coal. <gasps> we found. Are you kidding me? Right there. Well, if that ain't perfect, what do you call these? An underground fortress or something? I don't know what you call those, but that is going to work great for us. Let's see if we can't find some of this coal right there. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay, I need to get the this guy on the hot bar, bow and arrow. So we got people coming from everywhere. Oh. Oh, boy. Okay, let's uh, kill these guys. I want to just take a quick peek in here so you guys can have a look at what we're going to be dealing with. Looks like we're good. Oh, a sneak attack from behind. I don't think so. And you, you can stay for a moment. Someone else coming. Creeper! Ooh. Uh, that was close. Let's get this bat. Okay. Oh, are you down? You ain't down. Let's grab some of these and see what we got to work with. Okay, now you can die. Thank you for coming down. Um, we need to get them in the hot bar. Let's put them right here. Is this it? <laughs> no, that ain't it. Oh, wow. Um, I kind of don't want to just pop down there. It seems dangerous. Let's do it. Hey guys, you want to die? You're dead. Spider. Hello. Another one. This will be good. This is going to help for the theme. We got cobwebs right here. We're going to implement those. I think if you do this, shear them. No, you got to have the silk touch one. That's okay. We got that back at base, so we can go and get that no problem. Um, let's just take a quick peek right here. Oh, hello. And block you. What do we got down here? Anything? I'm hoping that we can find a chest to check out. Is what I was hoping for. I don't think we're going to find it this trip. Um, so let's actually head back before we get lost in here. So we didn't really mark exactly where we came out. Right here. Um, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to gather a little bit of coal. I'm going to do a little bit of TNT work. And uh, we're going to carve out the area where our sacrificial tomb is going to be. So I will be right back, guys. <sighs> Shoot. Guys, we've completed all of the TNT, so we are going to go and check that out before we wrap this up here today. I put in the wool into the, the front facade of this little entrance to the sacrificial tomb, and it looks okay. I'm hoping it's going to look better once we add in the detail, so it's not going to stick out like a sore thumb, because right now, it kind of looks a little weird to me, but that is okay for right now. We're going to see the finished product and maybe we just turn that back to stone. I'm not really sure just yet. But uh, let's head on down. Oh, and have a look, Raven Lunatic. I'm eating your cookies. Yes. I've ran out of food and that's what I need to eat. 
There's nothing to eat on this server. So cookies will be the diet for right now. So let's head on down and this is going to be kind of what the view will be for what you're going to be greeted with when you come on down the first time. And look at that. Ooh, that's a lot of TNT and we actually need to do more. If you notice on the right hand side here, we've got a lot more of it built out to the sides, taken out. Whereas on the left, we just sort of have this lower portion and not the upper portion done. I don't know if you guys will see, I'm going to be putting in a little bit of a, just showing some of the explosions that happened while we were TNTing, but this entire area up top here got blown up and we had to put grass back up on top of there. I didn't want that to happen, I wanted to be down further, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world, it's just a little flat up there, so we're going to have to do a little bit of work covering that up, um, so that'll take a little bit of time. Right now, it's really rough. There's like floating blocks. You can see one right there. The terrain's all crazy. I don't want to alter it too, too much. We are, though, going to have to figure out how we want to do a staircase down here. Because if we use this staircase right in behind here, where it's just the uh, one block at a time going down, we are going to extend so far into this space that we won't be able to use it. We're going to have to blow out more so that we can make this seem like it's exactly what we need to. Um, so we're not going to do that. Potentially what we might do, we might build this out for just like a ledge right here and then head on down over here and do like a staircase uh, on down. And I'm not, maybe we don't even need to blow this out. Maybe we just put in some pillars to hold it up. I'm not really sure yet. But the plan is sort of where that back little semicircle is. That's where the sacrificial tomb is going to be, uh, where something will be sacrificed, uh, whatever it may be, maybe like some pig or some sheep or, or something like that. Um, so we're going to have that input there. Uh, but that's not going to be this episode. I think that is going to do it for today. Uh, well, we've done a lot of work. We need to do a little bit of repairing from our TNT. We almost died there a couple of times. Those TNT come flying at you like crazy. I didn't expect that. It was so much fun to be working with it. It's been a long, long, long time. Um, but yeah, so we are going to call it here. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like. Uh, if you have anything to say, of course, leave a comment down below. And we will see you in the next episode.